The subject of this video is seven proven time management tips and tricks. Grab your coffee and let's get started. You know, in this crazy world, who hasn't missed a deadline for their work? If you think about how we work these days, we're dealing with multiple time zones. So we've got the time zone monster, we've got people that are overloaded with work, and we have people that are in fear of losing their jobs. So it's even more important that you be organized, have some excellent time management skills, know how to use tools like To Do, Outlook, and Calendar. In this video, I'm going to show you some practices that I've used as a consultant that's traveled the globe working with the time zone monster, people in multiple countries, having an incredibly intense workload. I'll show you how to implement these practices in Outlook and To Do. So let's talk about planning your day. The first thing you're going to do is open up your calendar and you're going to book 30 minutes to an hour every morning to review the work that's been assigned to you. So project tasks, tasks from your manager, emergency items that must get addressed right away, client related work, whatever's been assigned to you. And the next thing you're going to do is go through a prioritization process. So let's have a look at uh, prioritizing. Now, there's several books out there and methods. I'm going to give you the quick ones that I use that have been most effective. A, B, C. A, get it done today. High priority, high impact. B, medium priority, medium impact. C, you can delete. Or you're going to give, give to someone else and delegate. Low priority. Eisenhower, this is a great model because you've got important and urgent, so do it today, do it in the morning, and then you've got the other side of it, which is not important, but not urgent, just delete it or delegate it. Or plan, you know, plan could be um, something you do tomorrow or next week. So it gives you a framework you can put up on a whiteboard and, and reference. And schedule blocking, probably the most common, but it doesn't show the intricacies of a prioritization uh, schedule such as you know you know is is your task on a critical path so let's talk about distractions so you can use do not disturb you can turn your phone off that's a great start but you need to have a nice office pot of coffee good lighting and a place quiet and keep people away from you so you can really focus on getting your work done who doesn't multitask i think for the simpler things you can multitask but, you know, when you're driving a car or cycling or flying an airplane, you probably don't want to multitask. So I think you have to use the, the analogy of if it's really important, just don't do it. For delegation, I usually uh, use the rules of if it's related to a project and it belongs to someone else, get the project manager to um, escalate it. If it is something that in an area that another manager manages, then I engage my manager and ask them to escalate for me. So what I'll do is I'll send an email, I'll explain the situation, I'll provide you know background, problem definition, risk, um, some options for addressing the problem so that the manager can fully understand exactly what's going on. And then what I do afterwards is I then schedule a meeting because there may be other um, actions or escalations that will require that person's attention. I want to make sure that there's an email, honestly, to CYA, and I want um, some interaction so that I get the manager's attention and uh, some level of priority so they know that I'm serious about the escalation and it, that it is timely and needs to be acted upon. So let's talk about tools. There's three key tools I use. I use the uh, to-do, a schedule, and email. So I will capture all my tasks in to-do, and I will capture them uh, through email by creating a task in email. I will manually enter the task. I will do my best to enter all the information that I can, and then I will block time in calendar based on a prioritization method that best suits me. I use ABC and, and Eisenhower most mostly. I do a lot of my capture using my phone. So I have to do on my phone, I'll pin, I'll, I'll create tasks. And then when it comes time to my morning planning, I'll have all my tasks. I can go through and use Eisenhower and ABC to kind of prioritize the day, then block it out of my calendar. Then at the end of the day, I do a follow-up. What did I complete? 
what didn't I complete, any new tasks, and I start the whole day over again. I usually book myself out uh, a week, two weeks, as best I can, so I don't uh, have any surprises or minimize the risk of surprises. And the final topic is recharging. I think taking breaks is a great idea. It helps you recharge, refresh, walking the dog, cycling. Now that a lot of us work remote, or at least a couple of days a week, we can break up the day with something that gives us a change of pace, even a coffee. Adopting time management practices into your daily workflow can be greatly advantageous to how people view your professionalism, your timeliness with meetings and organization skills. It can also save you a lot of stress and help your mental health. Please click like and subscribe. Thanks.